All right, in this lesson, let's talk about aggregates. So what are they? Aggregations are used in databases to summarize information about some set of data. Now, the result can be a single value, such as an average salary for a company, or it can be a per group value, like an average salary for a department. SQL Server has two operators to implement aggregations. All right, it's got a stream aggregate and a hash aggregate, and they both can be used to solve queries with aggregation functions. You know, like some average max. And also the group by clause and the distinct keyword. These two operators, the stream aggregate and the hash aggregate, require data to already be sorted. To provide sorted data, the optimizer may employ an existing index or it may explicitly introduce a sort operator. In this lesson, we're going to be using the set show plan text on so we can get a little more granular insight into the steps. A text plan can be more useful to show details about the stream aggregate and the compute scalar operations. Note that in order to implement the average aggregation function, the stream aggregate is computing both count and sum. The results will be stored in a computed expression. All right, now let's look at an example with the group by clause. A stream aggregate operator always requires its input to be sorted by a group by clause predicate. So, in this case, the sort operator shown in the plan will provide the data sorted by the product line column. After receiving its input sorted, the records for the same group will be next to each other, so the stream aggregate operator can count the records for each group. Now, a stream aggregate can also use an index to have its input sorted. The sort operator is not needed in the plan, as the clustered index scan provides the data already sorted by the sales order ID, which is part of the clustering key of the sales order detail table.